Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here. Now, this is one of the things I noticed uh, doing what I do. And I want people to understand this, that something I've found, something I've discovered over time. And this is a very hard and shocking truth because we see this and it just it just hit me like a ton of bricks right now that the bible talks about in hebrews or somewhere it talks about women forever getting knowledge and never learning and that is a very very hard truth because I did a video yesterday talking about how a woman can help a man change because most men when we change we changing for a woman we we rarely change for some men will change for their kids some men will change for for god but we rarely change and i noticed some of the comments was women not listening listening to what they want to hear versus what was said and that translates into life because I come on here and I talk till I'm blue in the face and 90% of the women who follow me still end up in deadbeat relationships or doing the very thing that I warn them against whereas when I talk to a man and I tell him exactly what he need to do he literally follows it step by step and what i've come to learn is that men actually list, listen better than women and men actually take instruction better than women if you notice when instruction is being given to men it's not a bunch of or advice being given to men it's not a bunch of men in the comments arguing because as men, we're going to take it and we're going to look at the source and we're going to say, okay, where this coming from? So if this is a millionaire telling me how to get money, if this is a happily married man telling me how to be happily married, I'm not finna argue with him. See, that's the logical side of men. We're going to take and we're going to say, okay, now if it's a broke man telling us how to get money, all right, we're not listening. And so... This is one of the things that I want women to understand because I help men by my example, not always instruction. God called me to speak into the life of women because that's the lives that I was deceiving and manipulating. I wasn't deceiving and manipulating men. I was deceiving and manipulating women. And when I rededicated my life to Christ, this is the purpose that I was given to try to help right some of those wrongs. Because if women will listen to men who are giving away the game, then it will upend the game of men who are listening to the devil. So when men of God give women of God the blueprint and the game if you listen to that when you meet a man who's sent by the adversary you're gonna spot him out immediately and you're gonna be able to shut that down young lady in front of me so busy looking at her rear view mirror at me she's slowing down and got all the room in front of her Go ahead now. and so this one has to be understood when you come to this place to where you get wisdom to where you stop arguing and you start listening. That's when you start to grow. And that's when you can avoid the issues. And you gotta listen thoroughly. So what I was saying yesterday, I was saying that a lot of men are raised and they taught that the man is the head, the woman is the tail. But that's not biblical. The lady in the comments 
she wasn't listening and she thought that I said the man is the head, the woman is the tail and went to quoting scripture. And this is a grown woman. That's the exact example of how we don't listen to understand. We listen to argue, to rebut. And I was talking about how some women will go revenge cheat. And so if you are a revenge cheater, you could prevent all cheating by just telling a man that if he cheat on you, you cheating on him. That in itself, for most men, will stop them in their tracks. A lot of men cheat because they believe a woman will never cheat back. Because they've been shown over and over throughout their life that women get cheated on and just deal with it. So that's why a lot of men feel comfortable with cheating. But if men knew, if a man knew his woman would go get up under another man and sleep with another man, put her body at risk, that she would literally do that. I'm not saying to say it if that's not what you would do. If you would leave, then say that. If you would go sleep with another man, then say that. And then when you tell a man the consequences or the reward, and see a lot of times a woman will tell a man the consequences but not tell him the reward. So he don't got nothing to compare it to. So there's no incentive to change. Because if there's no reward, so if a woman say, oh, if you go do this, I'm gonna be so hurt, I'm gonna be so broken, I'm gonna be this right here, but then don't say, hey, if we could trust each other and we faithful, you finna have all of me. I'm finna be doing this, 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 this. If the man don't understand the reward, then the consequence don't, don't weigh as much either. And then when you got somebody, when you go in a situation as a woman and you, you got a man that you give everything, you express everything, you do everything right and he still disrespect you. That's all that is, is a sign that that's not your man. You holding somebody else's man hostage. That's not your man. So when a man show you who he is and, and you do everything you can and he still keep going, okay. That's something that you got to suck it up buttercup suck it up buttercup and keep it moving such is life it is what it is go on about your business everything is going to turn out the right way because you can't help somebody change that don't really want to change for you everybody want to change Everybody want to change. Somebody said, think about the logic of an, of an addict. It's not as strong. When a man acting a fool, that's not the same as crack cocaine. <laughs> it's not the same. Every man want to change. Every man want to be better. That's just the bottom of it. The short and skinny. Every man want to change. It's just every man does not see the benefits of change. Every man is not shown the benefits of change. And so he says, well, why change? This right here, what I'm doing is a thrill. It's exciting or it's fun. It's this or this or it's that. Why change? So that's what you got to realize and understand. The other thing that you have to realize and understand is that every man is capable of change. No matter what a man has done in his life, he is capable of change. The reason being is because God exists and we are made in his, light, in his likeness, in his image. God gave humans the ability to be able to change. We change with God. Some things are so severe, they at a point to where it requires our creator to renew us and that's that's what it takes without that right there 
we remain the same. So I want you to understand that they say once a cheater, always a cheater. That's not the truth. Once a man does this, he always does that. That's not the truth. Once a man is this, he's always that. That's not the truth. Leopard can't change his spots. A man ain't a leopard. Not an animal. It don't apply. A leopard probably can't change his spots. A man could change his spots. That's what, what, that's what being renewed as a new creature means. It means you change. That's what that means. So we got to come to the place where we get, where we realize we got to take off the limits off God and what God could do. We got to take humans out the box and what a human could do when a human want to grow, when a human want to change. And it's not rocket science. So what I'm trying to help women understand is that this ain't rocket science that you hold something, you hold an influence. And there was a lady that taught me this and she probably learned it the hard way. She probably didn't know it. She said, Tony, men have power. Women have influence. And it was an older woman. She said that to me. I said, wow. She just hit on something that I don't even know if she hit on. I don't even know if she know what she hit on. And and what it means is a lot of times we say, oh, man is the head of the household. Man is the house, head of the household. But what that woman say to that man really matters. The man could be the president, but the woman he's sleeping with going to get some laws passed. Gonna get some things put in order. And a lot of times. Women might not understand that. That you got a lot of power. I could be getting ready to do something. My wife make a face. She make a certain face. It'll. It'll make me change my mind off a face she make I begin ready to do something she don't think it's a good idea I lose the zeal for it I, don't, I no longer want to do it and that's what I want you to realize and understand is that if you take as a woman and you walk in what God has given you and you stop arguing and debating and you listen to wise counsel and you move in that in step with that wise counsel you're going to win there's a lot of myths that women believe and I'm gonna have to break down some of the myths that women believe and help you understand that those things are a man's poker face which he has tried to make you believe that those things exist. It's a lot of myths. When I after I get this here food for my family and I'm headed back, I'm gonna shoot a video on the myths that women believe in today. And we're gonna talk through that. But listen to me. Anything I tell you is to help you and to benefit you, male or female, whichever whichever angle I'm talking to that day. The thing I tell you is to help you and to benefit you. I ain't gonna say nothing that don't make sense. Be, you just got to listen to it again. I ain't going to say nothing that don't make sense. So you have to be able to, I'm, I'm about to show my dog on, make sure I ain't showing my card number. You got to listen to it again. Everything I say, press to the ground, going to rise again. Everything I say, if you listen to it, Listen to it again. If you don't understand it, listen to it again. Stop your thoughts and listen to it again. But when I come up, when I come on here and I'm talking, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm talking 
under the authorization of God, what the Holy Spirit given me to say. That point oh one, that's when I done bumped my head, and that video that video will get deleted. But it take a boldness to speak, to let God speak through you. Take a boldness. And so when I'm and the thing about it is, is a lot of things what God give me. Sometimes it's so it's so common sense that it's hard to believe. Sometimes it's so hard to believe because the world, because the devil done warped our minds in this demonic world that we don't believe it. So sometimes I don't be wanting to say stuff, but the Lord telling me like, listen, being 100% obedient and speaking the truth and calling things the way they are, that's the only thing that's going to separate you from the world. It's the only thing that's going to separate you from everybody else. And that's the call to those who's speaking under the instruction of the, of the Lord. That's what we got to realize and understand. So, hey, when I say something, I got a, I got a thousand case studies for it. You got to listen to it again and then listen to it again and get it in your spirit. Because I, I be seeing men and women, mostly women, in the comments misquoting me and making a whole dissertation of an argument or something that I ain't even say. Something that wasn't even in the video. Took something out of total context and in the comments arguing. And then what that does, it becomes the work of the devil. Because then the people who come to listen and grow and hear, now they distracted because somebody in the comments in their feelings instead of listening to what was said creating words in their own mind and putting it out there 